Hey guys, I'm actually doing a kind of empties review and this is my first one so I decided to try a product I've been trying out for over two months and I am doing the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care New Volume Filler Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, as you can see, this is my hair straight pretty much. Um, I do get little crimps like this because I, when it's wet, I tuck them behind my ear. Or when it's damp, I put it in a ponytail or my bun. And that just creates that little wave that you'd normally see in most of my video. These are supposed to give you um, thicker, fuller feeling hair. Um, from the back it just says, clinically tested for instant results, long lasting transformation. Volume filler generates a thicker feel and infuses lasting volume over time. And it just goes about what kind of things are in there and what they do. I cannot pronounce some of those words, but um, like I said, it's really almost empty. Like I'm having to like shake my bottle really hard to kind of get this product to come down. Um, both of them. This one is the shampoo is 12.6 fluid ounces, which is 375 milliliters. And of course the conditioner is the same. I have been using it for quite a while. Like I said, um, like a little over two months. Like we're pretty close to three. Or maybe it's longer than that because I think I bought it at the end of summer, which was end of July. So August, September. Yep, about three months. So it's probably, yeah, probably almost four months. But um, I have no volume in my hair whatsoever. Like it does not work for me. Um, it doesn't even feel thicker. It just... It does not. It feels just as thin as it did before I started washing it because I have naturally thin hair. Um, this is just pretty much what it is. And like I said, like you see there's no volume whatsoever. It does not feel thicker so I think it pretty much did not live up to its name. And I was so excited for when it came out because I remember getting the John Frieda um, brunette collection volumizer that gave me volume like gave me slight volume wasn't like a really big difference but like I didn't think it worked but I took actually a side-by-side -side picture took a picture of when I started before I started and then a month and a half after I started a thing and I did notice a slight difference mm. sorry I did notice a slight difference this I do not notice the difference at all my friends don't notice the difference and they feel my hair and they said there's like no change it feels just like it's always has so I was actually pretty okay I'm already knocking my water down I'm actually pretty disappointed with it um, I do not normally use L'Oreal Paris I do not the brand I actually use is the um, Herbal Essence Tussle Me Softly. That's the brand I have used for years since it came out. Because um, I like I like the tussle look and it helps me achieve that. So, but this just, this was a no-go for me. Now, I've actually, since I started this and I've noticed I haven't had any change in my hair, I actually went back and looked for the John Frieda in the brunette collection but they do not carry it anymore or they have some moisturizer and um, my hair is oily by nature so I cannot have anything like that but I did find a volumizer brand from them so I might try it and that might be my next thing to review empties review but all in all for me I would not repurchase this again and I don't know if I would recommend it to anybody because someone else may actually have better results than I do. But for this, for me personally, this was a no-go. I would not waste any more money because I think I paid um, $5.99 for the conditioner and then another $5.99 for the shampoo. 
I would rather pay my extra dollar and get my um, tassel me softly and just go with that because it smells like lilac and I love lilac but this I don't know what it smells like I can't place the scent but it's not exactly unpleasant but it's not really all that wow it smells so good no um, it's just pretty much an okay scent that's all I can say definitely does let me see back does it say no it doesn't and it I just read in the directions it doesn't even say um, you know how they say lather rinse repeat this doesn't say it and I've actually tried both ways for the first month I did try the lather rinse repeat nothing um, I went about three days from washing my hair just to kind of you know get that all out of my hair and I did a cleansing treatment with um oh what is it I just ran out like a, about a month and a half ago when I did that use lasso but it's a Neutrogena product and you wash your hair with it and it's supposed to like remove all the buildup from like your shampoos and conditioners and stuff um hairspray it's supposed to remove all that and I definitely let my hair go for another three days without washing from which is me which for me personally is absolute torture because I have to wash my hair at least every other day that is like actually that's like the most I would go because I hate not washing my hair I hate that feeling and then I tried it um, with a, a lather rinse and that's it I just did that and I followed my conditioner on um, the conditioner I actually did two ways too the first time I applied from root to tip no change so after I did my little cleansing and then you know removing all the gunk out of my hair I tried just applying it um, kind of more at the ends of my hair like halfway down just to see if maybe I was putting too much and it might have weighed my hair down so I just put a slight amount and put it from like the neck on down really and I just left the shampoo up top um, no change it still kind of was weighing I don't know if the product is too heavy it's weighing my hair down it's not doing what's supposed to I don't know but um, yeah definitely would not buy this again the one thing I might want to try that I think may give me a little bit more volume because I feel maybe stuff like this has way too many harsh chemicals that kind of do weigh your hair down I may want to give Win a go. I tried a sample one time a few years ago when it first came out and I've said I wanted to try it but at the Sephora they don't sell the one I want because I want the lavender but I may just go check back and see what they have and just buy whatever they have just to you know use it. I don't know it may actually work. So it's either the John Frieda I might try next or the Win. I don't know. I think more the win because I've tried John Frieda products and I'm always pretty impressed with them. So that is my empties review. So guys, um, if you want, go ahead and take the risk. It might work for you, but it might not. The only bonus is you have clean hair. So, you know, that's kind of a win right there. You have clean hair as, like, as long as it cleans. But if you're looking for volume wise, you might seriously be disappointed. So. Alright, I'm going to go to bed because it's 9.23 and I got off of work an hour ago and I need to go back at 6 o'clock. So, night guys.